I am scared of this video probably more so than any other video. Maybe, I don't know if I would say this video is more worrying than uh, the previous one or not. The race one is kind of concerning when it comes to the Makotes, but when it comes to Final Fantasy XIV waifus, this could destroy me. Yeah, Lucy's videos are really good. This will trigger you. I Oh, God. She has caused me nothing but pain in a lot of ways when I have to watch these videos. Because, it, like I said, it makes me realize bad parts about myself. Freeze, human. Put your hands where I can see them. Now I know you're I'm surprised she's using her VTuber bottle because she hasn't been using it in most of her videos or at least the ones that I've seen but there's still nine days before we can play it in the meantime you might as well start thinking about marriage oh Lucy that's a pretty big leap in logic no open up your mind this is 6.0 it's time for the warrior of light to think about settling down and because I make such a good we don't settle down by being married. You already get married before 6.0. You get you get you go to your retirement home in the island sanctuary. When it comes to settling down as the warrior light, you've already done that by this point. You should have established yourself with a waifu or husbando. You should now be moving into retirement. Island sanctuary is the ultimate retirement place, and we are going to 100% be gifted it through saving the world. We deserve it. Character psychologist? I figured matchmaker was the next step in the equation. Not that I've ever been good at math, but yeah. The good news is that the job you main makes this easy. I can determine your best mate, even plan your wedding with a goodwill catering. On that <laughs> knowledge alone, the bad news is that your destined partner might require lowering your standards. But trust me, mother knows best. And for the extent of this video, you can call me mommy. I don't have the milkers to go with the title, but someone's gotta raise you and then rescue you into the person that's right for you. Feel free oh to subscribe God. if you like my cringe content, or you can also leave a comment telling me how much you hate me for not giving you your best girl. That works too. Chapter. Wait. Is she only giving waifus though? Is she not gonna give someone Xenos as a husbando? Because I, you know how many thirsty, or Emmett as a husbando, because you know how many thirsty people out there. They want the dumpies or they want grandpa for some reason. There's down below, cop the title, this is not spoiler free, and let's go. Starting off with the melee DPS, you guys have a way of coming on too strong in your relationships. So I've a few partners that will either help ground you or will also be insane with you. Maybe even more crazy than you. She's the starting melee off with melee right away. For samurai, your love language is no edgy? service, meaning your waifu is going to be Yugiri. This is partly because she will not be with anyone that doesn't remind her of Hien, who will be a continuous topic of interest in your couple's therapy sessions. But also because Yugiri is a girl of tradition and samurai is a very traditional final fantasy job she will okay but your guri is not that bad of a choice that's not that bad lucy's a bit soft-spoken too uh it's, she's not that she's she's got like a very like interesting voice um i don't feel like your guri's like that bad of it but like this isn't that bad for samurai. I mean, I don't know if I consider myself a samurai anymore, though. Because, like, I'm definitely not playing samurai come Endwalker. I, I mean, I'll level it probably first or second, but... Were you assuming it to be an iconic choices? I don't know. Be your stay-at-home mom. She will cook you delicious dinners. She will even assassinate people who get in your way. But despite her capability to... She's a protecting waifu. Like, isn't that a good thing? This sounds like a good thing. To murder, she will look at you like this when you come home. A real treasure. Your biggest issue is going to be her secret yandere nature. Are you gonna look me in the eyes and tell me she wouldn't stab someone to... Ah. Uh... I kind of have a thing for Yandere's. Maybe I do need to play, stay playing Samurai. This isn't that painful. She actually got, she, how does she know? How does she know this? 
This feels like she's reading me way too well. Keep your love, don't kid yourself. If you're going the husbando route, you will be paired with Hien. Hien is the leader, the man at the head of Yansha. And you will be his second hand, his Yugiri replacement, if you will. While ninjas were casting mudras, you were studying the blade with Hien. Because he has to stay in Yansha, that means you'll often I don't like Hien. To go on I'm gonna be mission, honest. And he will wistfully await your return. Imagine the absolute daddy issues your child will have, considering his tendency to run away from stressful situations. You appreciate a well -constructed Hold on. I don't like Hien for a husbando character, okay? He's not a bad character. A drama, and you don't really mind if your kid is caught up in the fallout. You'll just have another. Clearly, they just couldn't handle the weeaboo cringe, and that means they're not strong enough to live through your parenting. <laughs> also along the weeb line, for Ninja, you're the type of person who works hard in their day-to-day -day and could really benefit from someone who takes care of the little things. Your waifu is going to be Flamin. <gasps> Yo, what the fuck? Flamin? How does that line up with Ninja at all? She's like actually like, she, okay, she's Granny Makote, but she's pretty fucking high tier. If you know anything about her from 1.0, like she's pretty fucking high tier. The MILF, a middle-aged cat girl. Seeing as she's the one who took the refugees under her wing, she'll have no real holdups with all the killing and shady stuff you do. She might even clean up the mess. However, she's she like probably give you lectures in typical mom fashion. <laughs> Isn't that part of her appeal for you, though? I know she. I feel like my view of her is so skewed because I know 1.0 exists. Because like when she was like the dancer that was like at the at the mining place, right? She is she's like she was like super fucking hot in 1.0 and then all of a sudden when you get to 2.0, they like turn her into a fucking milf. She's the milf Kote. She's holding back on us. I know. Whatever's under that frumpy dress is gonna be great. If you want a husband, you know, I'm gonna give you Thancred. The Dilf. Obvious part first. He used to be a bit of a rogue himself, so you could learn some pickpocketing skills from him. Since I know neither of you plan to have an actual job, that'll be pretty useful for you. Go to the rogues guild together. There's probably someone there who remembers him from his flirty 2.0 days and will tell you cringy stories about him, which will give you blackmail. Might be important That's fair. considering his quirk of turning into a villain sometimes actually your job he doesn't turn into a villain sometimes he's forced to turn into a villain i mean maybe people like that maybe people like the body possession thing maybe that's what people are wanting out of thankrid they want body possession Job is to bully Thancred, pull enemies before him, emasculate him by being your own tank. Should I have to play Ninja now? skills specifically to avoid this reality. They knew you would do this to him, but it's time to give the devs the middle finger and find what makes you truly happy. You are the reason behind his white hair. It became white in anticipation of your tyranny. Now, wait, months, hasn't it always really, been white? You have a lot of patience, considering how long they've been taking to fix your job. That's why your <laughs> waifu is going to be Lise. Yes. I I realize this is a basic b take, but this scene looks absolutely awful if you're playing any other job. So <laughs> I don't think you have a choice in the matter. I mean, it to be fair, that does look like she's about to kiss. The thing about Lise, though, is she's you fucking hot the in this trailer. In this scene from the Stormblood trailer, you, you must be as pure as an actual monk, which means you are absolutely killing it on this fine no nut November day. Lise is a little too energetic, but you can mellow her out. Maybe even teach her how to think about people other than herself every so often. I foresee a lot of work needed to make this succeed, but once you do, you'll be one of the strongest power couples out of this entire list. On I I'm sorry, but her model is actually trash in the game. Like, I feel like they did like a really poor job at implementing Lise as far as like a visuals on the model goes. Like her outfit is really good. And it's just, I don't, maybe it's just a, that's a problem with like the game's engine or something. It's just, it's so deceptive, like how well, sh like, like how fucking hot she looked in that Stormblood trailer. Like, it like literally blew my mind. Like I was like, holy shit, I'm I'm forsaking cat girls type of level of sh of stuff going on with like her model. Like from the like the 
from like the CGI. But the second it got in game, it's just like, yeah, I like the I like the top from like the casual outfit it, before like the traditional like outfit that she has. But after, uh, uh it just doesn't look as good. On the other end of the spectrum, your husbando is Hildebrand. Now, as I said, you guys are patient, and if we don't want another calamity, we need you to take the L and bring Hildy under your wing. Take him away from his eldritch abomination of a father and teach him how to behave in public society. Seriously. What is wrong with her? She doesn't like Godbert? How is she talking down about Godbert? He's literally one of the best characters in this game. Like, look at that crotch shot right there. Damn, 14 really... Really gave him some girth. <laughs> Seriously, rich people, am I right? They just don't know how to interact with us slaves. On the bright side, the uh, nighttime shenanigans are probably going to be incredible. If Godbert's wife is any indication, just think of all the things she had. Why are you covering up his nipples? <laughs> Had to put up with and still stayed. If Hildy inherited anything from his dad, it's gonna be a wild ride for you. And for someone My God. as responsible and level-headed as you are, you deserve a bit of excitement in your life. Dragoon, correct me That's if I'm a wrong, mod. I know I used to mod. Enjoy the idea of protecting someone. I mean, you're not gonna be a paladin main about it. But you like the feeling of someone All right, here we go. on you. And for that reason, Con E. Senna is... I cannot agree with this. I'm I'm actually upset. I absolutely do not like her. All right, hold on. I take that back. You know what? I've seen a video or I've seen some artwork out there of Connie Senna, and she's uh, quite well endowed in the booba in that uh, artwork. Um, maybe we could consider that one. Um, yeah, artwork, fine artwork, indeed. She was uh she was with uh. What's the, what's the, uh, the, the green goddess or whatever that's part of, like, the, the 12? I don't know, it, Minfina, or is it, I don't know what the artwork was. It was, it was very safe for work. Um, not Garuda. No, 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 no. Part of the 12. I, I think it was Menfina. I don't remember. Maybe it's, it started with an N. I don't know what the I don't know what the name of it is, but it's it's really great artwork out there. Noficia, maybe Noficia. I don't remember. It was depicting some like forest lady that like is kind of related to Gordania. Anyhow, it was great Connie Sun artwork. Noficia, sorry. Is your perfect waifu. First, her no, not horse lady. Is a great contrast to your black armors, and we all know she's the weakest link among the Eorzean leaders. So she needs you, and guess what? You I need don't her. Because need her. Your reputation as a floor tank is well deserved, and she's a white mage. That means she takes care of you too. Heartwarming. <sighs> she's kind of a coup today. Once she opens up to you about her deepest secrets and brings you to her secluded cottage in the woods, it's gonna be rewarding. Just. I will say this. There's no way in hell she is the weakest link. If you think that anyone but Nanamo is the weakest link, you're wrong. Nanamo literally has to have Raoban. Or now she has Pippin, I guess. She's always paired. Nanamo is always paired with someone because she is weak and fragile and she literally gets poisoned. She's... There's... She has to be protected. Like, there's no way you can say that she's not the weakest. The only reason you can argue that she has any power level that's higher than Connie Senna is because of the fact that whoever she's paired with, maybe, maybe there's like a, that's the only reason though. I, I don't know how you could say that. We can fragile all Lalafels. I don't know. Pippin's pretty fucking crazy. Yeah, she has her pocket Highlander. So is, is... Raul Bon basically Nanaba's stan or stand and then Pippin replaces Raul Bon. 
don't tell the other leaders about her secret harem of moon cat boys chained up in the basement. Um, the elementals made her do it. If you want a husbando, I'm actually not gonna give you a stinian. Up. Put your spears <laughs> down. We can't always get what we want. You're getting alpha now. I said down. I realize a Wait, lot of what? people find him annoying, but I'd give my left bitty for alpha now. This might be a good time to mention I hope you're not looting your waifus and husbandos. You wouldn't do that, would you, notoriously pure Final Fantasy XIV community? Now, I don't know if Alfie's got a gun. Look, you have... She has the crotch shot that we showed earlier. She clearly has the mod to pack on uh, pack on Highlanders, okay? And male models, okay? I crush or a real crush on Astinian, but you being a dragoon means he's gonna be in your pocket. He's no, yet another person not, you can protect. We're, we're, can we're not judging, spear, okay? And Walker inevitably forces him to swim again because that's S-tier epic XD rar comedy according to the writers. Him being a sage, he can also correct your many, many mistakes. He'll be much happier about it than... He's not a sage yet. ...than Connie Sinna would be. And you can be as mean to him as you want. There's nothing you can say that Alize hasn't said in a far more scathing way than you could ever manage. <laughs> That's true. Alfano is like my son, so treat him nicely. I'm watching you. Reaper isn't out yet as of this video's release, but I already know your perfect match. Remember Stormblood? One character who stands out from the rest is Sadu. Her... <sighs> mm, I can see this. I can see this. She's feisty, okay? Whole shtick is that her tribe believes they're reincarnations of former dead tribe members, and that means that you, being oh my reaper, god, will seem like a god to her people. You could Holy probably shit! Have a harem situation if you really wanted to. You will. Yo, I'm switching to reaper. That sounds good. Like, you know what? I'll. I'll forsake Makote for this situation, okay? If if you're saying I get a harem, we're good. I'll satisfy her spiritually for sure. And I mean, hopefully at night, but uh, she seems like a tough critic. When she dies, you, having a connection to the afterlife and all, should be able to find her next form. That this is... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I had a harem in, in in Persona 5, okay? This is okay. This is called video game harem. There's there's a, these are completely different things. These are fake. That means you will be a sin. How did that harem work out? Trapped in an eternal relationship. <laughs> that har harem worked out perfectly, what are you doing? okay? Stay away from the snail. Now for Husbandos, you're getting him at Selk. The only way you're gonna be able to see him after Shadowbringers is through being a Reaper anyway. <laughs> he has the same dry, dark sense of humor that you have. You make- But, shh, his voice is in the trailer. So we have to at least get some e e echo with him, so you can definitely see him. He's- he's gonna be back, don't worry. He's- has- you can- you hear him in the trailer! Those are new voice lines! He's coming back. It, he just might not be alive. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll just... We the, we have to hope that we retain the echo the whole entire way. And anytime you want to see your dead waifu or husbandos, you just use the echo and you're safe. If you ever want to remember that one night stand you had with your uh, husbando or, or waifu, just call upon the echo. Make each other laugh. In fact, You'll remember no one else it. can make you laugh. You've lived in the edge so long, your sense of humor would make a war veteran go pale. But I think you two could be great for each other. Or extremely horrible and encourage the other to set the world on fire. But hey, every relationship needs work, am I right? Just don't make me regret letting you two have each other. Range DPS. Now, you guys seem shy at first, but you know what you're good at, and you have a certain degree of self-confidence when it comes to those specific things. So or you're very spunky. When, actually, you know what? Tatsuki's super over-self-confident. She's about to describe Tatsuki perfectly. What's the downside to this, though? 
I'm gonna match you up with people who know exactly who they are and aren't, just like you do. With the OG Bard, your love interests are both Sundarays. Your waifu will be Lena. We Bin knew I'm a bunny simp, so I'm jealous. Lena is a dancer herself, and she used to live among her kind in the forest until she left to save the Crystarium. She's banished from going back, but you, you can. Give... You could take that great big Lahi from Rock Tika Greatwood and literally play her the song of her you people. You give Rain she Lena? The beat of your harp flute oh thing. You are just ridiculous. They didn't even give them a Stinian for dragoons or husbando. Soft uwu girl beneath. As they say, opposites attract. The chainmail armor is probably there to stay, so I hope you like that in a woman. I know I do. Dragoons, oh we get it. You wanted a Stinian? Hold on and let me explain. What is Once wrong with time, you? There was a dragoon Why would you give them the Stinian too? Resistance. This they took this away. This is like one of the worst things they ever did to the game, okay? For me. This devalued me, okay? This made me less of a person in Final Fantasy XIV. I was an important party member. And they stole this or took this from me. I wanted every ranged DPS to love me. And I was robbed. Disgusting. I used to run double bards debuff on a target enemy meaning to unlock a bard's full potential you needed a dragoon in the party that means there's inherent chemistry that's here. not enough kind of Stinian needs to be up close and personal to fight an enemy while you stay in the trees and shoot from a distance the dragoon jumping mechanic means he can join you in those trees whenever he <gasps> wants God. maybe you can even carve your initials on the trunk i mean i wouldn't go that far pretty sure he wouldn't swing for it but seeing as you're a bard you'd probably do it behind his back a Stinian would pretend to find you a Annoying, but secretly smiles at the crazy stunts you pull. Kinda cringe. Cringe culture is dead, and I'm glad you're happy. Machinist, hear me out. Meryl with. Uh, uh, uh. I know, I know. Why would I choose her with. Look, you're just giving Machinist mommy milkers, okay? It's fine. We understand. That she swings, she uses the gun. She's very fierce. She has mommy milkers. It's fine. I understand. Hilda is right there. I'm sorry, Hilda just isn't your perfect match. First of all, you're sleeping on the Femro appeal. Rookie mistake. Check her. She dresses like a queen. That means her wardrobe is stacked, which is good because judging from the artifacts, I mean the Endwalker artifact slaps, but the others, most of you don't care about that. They're pretty bad. She's the best leader of Eorzea because she's not a Lalafell obsessed hothead like Raubon or borderline irrelevant like Connie Senna. She's Okay, in the story, I don't feel like she does that much. Until, like, until like the latest patch, she literally doesn't do that much. Or, like, not the latest patch. You know the patch when she, like, goes with you guys to, like, do uh, the fight about the kobolds? That's the most recent thing that she's actually been useful at. I feel like Connie-san has been way more useful. Connie-san is the place where you go... To like set up all the meetings, she's bringing everyone together. She has Connie Sun is powerful enough to make uh Elfino and Alize's dad c travel across the sea all the way to Eorzea, and she like uses magic all the time to help you. I'm sorry, but Connie Sun has helped you guys quite a bit. How did that go? It didn't go great. But that's because Elfin and Alize pissed off her dad. Their dad. Connie said it is meeting that could have been an email. That's true. Look. Look. They don't have email yet, okay? Strong will. She is lame. I'm just saying. I think she's a little more useful. You're not interested in having a pirate showdown on her personal ship. I think Lucy's just distracted by the fact that Merowib has mommy milkers. I feel like this is self-explanatory. Machinists make their own automatons. This makes sense. Not only could he, he would want to help you with that. You could geek out over your inventions together, and who knows? He might even make things just for you. If you're into nerdy middle-aged white nice guys with beards, this is perfect for you. Just, uh, when he goes to, um, spend time with Nero, don't ask him questions. It's the price you pay for Sid's public effect. Tatsuki, how do you feel about Sid? Is this, is this accurate and depicts who you, who your husbando is? Be honest. 
You don't actually have an opinion of Sid. You literally don't care about him. Man. How could you do that to Sid? Dancer, the newest ranged kid on the block? You're a bit childlike yourself, and the girl who embodies that spirit the most is Tataru. Here's my vision for you two. Tataru is amazing at making outfits. She's... She's a, she's a tar, Tataru simp. Why are you praising her? I, I don't even need to hear anymore. This is triggering me because she's not calling Tataru Eldritch Abomination. This is the final boss of this game. I swear to you guys. This is the most evil being in all of Eorzea. It's not about being anything against Lalafels. This is specifically Tataru. She has manipulated so many people and stolen money from, from the Scions. She bought a fucking airship. We don't need an airship. We have Sid. You're sorry, Kryle's evil? How is Kryle evil? Did she, Tataru stole money from godly beings. And she then manipulated a general of the Garlean Empire and the Azure Dragoon of Ishgard into doing her bidding. I don't know what more evidence you need to consider a Lalafell public enemy number one. It's basically the stylist for every expansion, and you being a dancer, that's what you need. She also loves money, true. so think about the absolute dough you could make as a team. She would make you the slooty slute lambs, and you could songbird emote in Limsa Laminsa and let the Gil RP donations slide right in. She's also super cute and a drunk, so imagine that. Coin hijinks. talks money is true. Money is your love language, though, so there's no romance, only cold hard cash. If you're oh looking for something God, more okay. story, God, okay, thank God she at least pointed that out. Further than your husband. Bondo Sidurgu. Yep, what? From the that sounds so line. fucking Design weird. The location with... is a bar, so it makes sense for you to meet there. Huh? Even though the vibes of Ishgard aren't at all good for dancing in a bar, honestly, your alpha nature unlocks the ability to dance in front of a stone-faced crowd, and that chat spirit will convince him you're a warrior worthy of his attention. You'll have to work hard to get that attention, but once you finally have it, you'll have it for life. He's I don't understand this one. I, this one's so fucking far off. He's so cold. Like, this doesn't feel like it fits Dancer at all. I don't understand this one. It's not close. Even the explanation doesn't make sense to me. Just because they meet in a bar? He's the Kyo Soma of Final Fantasy XIV, the type of guy who stays away from you because he thinks it's for your own good, and he'll probably get really jealous if you dance partner the DPS instead of him, which is kinda toxic, let's be real. Toxic men is what you like. You enjoy the thrill of the chase. <laughs> Holy safety. shit. You have to use all- Honestly, I think that's pretty fucking accurate, because you get these dancer DPS couples, right? You get the melee DPS couple with the dancer, and if you don't fucking give that melee DPS the the dance, no matter what, whoever there, they could be like a, or it doesn't even matter, it doesn't even have to be a melee DPS. If you are in a couple with a dancer, you are the most toxic person probably because you are demanding to be dance partner because your FF logs better fucking have the highest DPS possible. It doesn't even matter if it gets factored out. Those, those people are, like, together because the other DPS wants to be with that dancer, okay? They want the most powerful partner to also increase their own FF logs. So, this is probably actually even inaccurate that she's giving a Dark Knight this, because the dancer's not going to have their FF logs high enough. They're going to literally not be padded because it's a Dark Knight. All three dash charges on your way to get this guy. Healers, my brothers and sisters in arms. Let's start with the OG and the most popular of us, the White Mage. Now, White Mage, you don't necessarily want a relationship so much as you want a problem you feel like you can fix. So your waifu is Yotsuyu. There's definitely one or two Damn. things she needs to work on. And who better than a White Mage? A job that once flooded the entire world with the elements. To the White Mage is a fixer. Spider Lily is
is a part of her motif, and the blood lily is part of your job gauge, which means the tragic symbolism is off the charts. Holy shit. Actually, Yo, this one's like super accurate. I agree. By your side, if that's your thing. Like Yotsu is damaged fucking goods, and even Gosetsu couldn't fix it. I mean, he was a samurai, so maybe that's why. But, like, maybe a white mage could have fixed her. Like Monk and Lise, you would be a power couple in the absolute worst way possible. Her Holy being dead shit! Is kind of a problem that can't be fixed, which is good for you. Means you'll never get tired of her because you finally helped her. She cannot be helped. She's a video game character and dead. Double whammy. And of course, that means your husbando is harsh if on. All the oh most no! You were one of the people most affected by his death. Oh Not because no! You cared about him as a character, but because the RP potential in me. Immediately stood out to you, and you thought to yourself, "How can oh, I use no. this moment to advance <laughs> my character development and milk it for all it's worth?" Then you immediately flew to Reddit to make ten karma fishing posts about remembering him when you go into Endwalker. Rip Horsefont, you know what? If you guys are a white mage and you took part in this cutscene, the fact that you couldn't raise him means that you're a bad white mage. This isn't character development. It just means you're actually heartless. Maybe you wanted to see him suffer and die. Maybe Harshafant is actually your, like, what's what's her face? The, the, it's the girl from, like, Palace of the Dead. What's the girl from Palace of the Dead? And then she has her, like, her, like, boyfriend and shit. Maybe you, as a white mage, are, her, are to her that, like, demon thing she summons or whatever the hell they're called. You, you like Harshafant. Only so you could see him die and then resummon his animated corpse. That's what you've been wanting. Holy shit. Corpy has been angered. Oh shit. <laughs> I've triggered Cobra Kid. <laughs> I'm serious. How is this not the case? Like the you, as a white mage, how did you not save him? Dude, you didn't even try and heal him. You just sat there and let your tank die to the tank buster. You didn't even give a swift cast raise to him. You were too busy listening to him tell you shit. Stop listening and do something already. It's like the situation where Yuna just keeps fucking dancing. And she just keeps fucking dancing. It's you, you just keep fucking listening and doing nothing. <laughs> Just kidding, you're better than that. You like him because he's a paladin, and you can <sighs> both use flashy holy magic spells together. Uh, I know, I had but to he's go dead. there for he a did... second. Oh, he's ages. only level 60. You know I love you. On a more positive note, you like the juxtaposition of a man who's kind and pure, but destined for tragedy in the end. You love a sad romance, and <sighs> that means Harshifon is your perfect dead mate. Hey, you mind doing me a solid and not being another Ida? I don't <gasps> want another she Palace of the Dead fucking said it. Quest. Holy Holy shit, she literally says it. Scholars, my former main. All right, let's get one thing straight. You're angry. I get it. So I'm I couldn't remember her name, it's Ida. I can't stay mad at. Your waifu is Feo Yule. I know their gender is kind of up in the air, but Feo Yule came to me personally and told me she can be whatever you want her to be. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Scholars, hey, hey, you get whatever you want. Be baby, she would throw herself at you, insist that you know how to treat a lady right. Because she'll treat you any way you want. Eos, and you can't really argue with that, no matter how many paper cuts you try to give her with those XCOG pages. Even though she's annoying, she's also completely dedicated to you. Not in a Yandere way, she would kill for you simply because she has no sense of morality. Um, she's probably the most Yandere character. She loves you unconditionally and. She says she will turn you into a sapling if she had to at one point. Like, there's literally times where she teases you. She doesn't go full Yandere, where the fact that she's going to fucking kill you. She's teasing you a bit and getting you off a little bit. You're, she's, like, edging you almost. Like, she could do it if she wanted to. Much like yourself, she'll grow on you like a weed. And for that matter, would absolutely 420 with you. Yeah. Holy shit, you're right. Wait, is she... She's literally your love, kinda. 
Likewise, your husbando is Magni. Why? Well, every scholar is either stupid themselves, like me, or deeply attracted to stupid people. And Magni is as stupid as they come. And he's a warrior. Your relationship with warriors is well documented. And you could probably educate him and his army of head and Alra men on waging war. With you by his side, maybe he would actually be able to beat Sadu at her own game. And you will appreciate his, uh, little son. Because it's so much better than the male Lalafell warrior you've been seeing otherwise. Astrology. Wow. That, that's, that's the most accurate one I've heard. Okay. Uh, outside of maybe some of the scholars being dumb, that was pretty fucking good. That was amazing. That's the most accurate one I'm good with. I don't know why, but I feel like you guys deserve everything in the world. So I'll give you a sale for a waifu, because if she had you by her side, you could have read her fortune and stopped her from sleeping <gasps> for dragons before it was too late. She's also drop-dead gorgeous. One of the only female Ellisons with rights, by my calculations. You you couldn't save her. She, she was going to do whatever for you. She actually, she sacrificed herself for you. The more you make her love you the more she's willing to throw herself in front of a Garlean airship and take a bullet for you. This, you actually don't want her to be your waifu or husbando or whatever. She's, she's going to drop dead. Like, the more she loves you. Can retire in a little spiky house in the new Ishgard housing, where she's far enough away from the dragons to not fall back into her bad habits. She can't plan an escape because you can see the future. Even if she could, you're faster than her with light speed. You're the only one with the right gravity to hold her down. Don't feel bad. Oh it's my for God, her own good. For your husbando, I give you the crowd favorite, Amaric. What? No way. Congratulations. He is an absolute shrimp for the Warrior of Light, so you won't even need to try. You'll be saying something like, Yeah, Mercury is in Euler this month, so I need to trim my toenails. And Amaric would just be like, Honey, you are so <laughs> smart. Everything you say is so correct and fascinating. Can I please keep the clippings in a plastic bag oh so I can God. sniff them every day that you're gone? You're just freak enough to not mind his stranger habits, but now you know why he's been single. Holy so. shit. He's a paladin too, and we all know the paladins are huge coomers. God forbid you're also a cat girl. That'll bring your relationship to the next level. Like you, Sale, he's gorgeous, and you're honest about being vain, so that works for you. He's willing to try anything for for you like uh like the peg 13 which is what we are family friendly final fantasy 14 content don't tell lucy i feel like horsha font's a bigger simp but he just died and you got replaced by pretty boy simp Portia Font was the one who was willing to die, and Emmerich's just, like, a simp that's just super affectionate no matter what. But I don't think, Cor I don't think Emmerich would sacrifice himself for you. Are you saying Portia Font's not pretty? You're comparing Emmerich to Portia Font. You're, you're, you're telling me that... Oh, Emric is not prettier than Horshafont. I think there's a lot of people would argue with you on that one. Most people would probably pick Emric as the prettier out of the two characters. Yeah, he'll never live it down. Sage, even though your player base hasn't been established yet, I've got some ideas. For your waifu, I'm gonna give you Monago. It sounds strange at first, but think of it. This Never mind. Way. Sage is a job from Charlian, and because the Alamigo area has been oppressed by the Garleans for so long, they could really. Thank you for saying it for me, Tonski. We really use someone coming along to help their soldiers and introduce the newest tech to their area. Minago would be so appreciative of you. You would give each other confidence. You're gonna have to do your best to break through the friend zone because she's gonna be convinced you're just really nice for a very long time. Plus, she's really busy being one of the only useful female Mikotes in the story. Just show her the new lift vibration setting and convince her you're worth the. Are you serious? Like machinist, you need a 
a partner who can invent and nerd out with you, but you're a little more jaded than the machinist. All right, who's uh, modding on, you know, some onto their anonymous first, okay? Like, you know it's happening. You already know that there's a machinist turret that is basically that, and you know what? Now there's going to be nolifs that do it. You're just firing your gates of Babylon uh, that have other objects coming out there than inside of swords. I'm da -da -da -da. I mean, you can do four different, or well, sorry, you could do two, two other uh, very innocent, um, nothing wrong, uh, have two enjoyers with you uh, of your nautilus. Um, maybe even just one having all three, uh, or all almost all four. Um, I'm not gonna go down any any farther down that road. Uh, this is a very say so stream. You need someone who's just family friendly. Comment away from snapping and going completely feral. While you're asleep, he will mod the new list to do something terrible, like burn your food right as you're about to put it in your mouth, or shoot you with tiny lasers every time you try to take a leak. He will actually ruin your life somehow. You find it charming, and you make his life more difficult too, because you'd rather use Cardia on a morble than give it to him. Kind of a toxic relationship, but also better off than Dancer and Sudurgu, because you're both aware that you're terrible people. Self-awareness does count for something. Casters! I, I completely forgot they even existed. the rest of Final Fantasy XIV content creators forget you exist. And I want you to know <laughs> I didn't. I really <laughs> almost forgot you exist. Reward me with some... I'm sorry, I kind of forget they exist. Ah. Uh... <laughs> How does she How does she know? <laughs> Look. All right. Let me be truthful, okay? I know Larry's a summoner, but there's such a focus on the summoner dong that you completely forget the summoner or the pets exist, okay? They, they, sh that, that, I, Whew, okay. <laughs> Some chicken nuggies. OG black mage. This is going to be controversial. How does I'm she fucking know? The reason being, she's kind of a bad person, which means all of your black magic buffoonery is going to slide right by her. Because if she tells on you, you've got receipts ready to go to the grand companies within seconds. Mutual blackmail is the foundation of your relationship. Like the Reapers, you have a dark sense of humor, and there's a part of you that enjoys the idea that your waifu was stuck behind cell bars and that you can only visit her at prison. You make jokes what the about fuck? smuggling things to her in your hat. She hates your guts. Pretty <laughs> Honestly, Black Mage is kind of like. Uh, either you're a Black Mage that's super full of yourself, or you're a Black Mage that wants to suffer and you like the pain because you have to manage that damn ley line or you're dead Pretty sure you're the only one who knows Which one's Tatsuki? Yes. I think she'll come around one day. A big departure from Fordola. You have Urian J as a husbando. Once again, we have blackmail in the mix. Satan knows that Urian J rehearses his speeches before every cutscene, and you've caught him in the act. You can expose him for being secretly brain dead anytime you want, and for that, he fears you. He's also kind of sort. What? Why does she hate Arianje? There's nothing wrong with him. He's fine. He's a quality individual that contributes to the Scions. He's pretty fucking smart too. He's a yeah, he's creepy, but imagine imagine knowing all the things that he knows. He's going to be a little creepy. He's not socially he's kind of like he's socially awkward a little bit because he has to contribute so much time to the books. He's a creepy uncle, but he's a useful creepy uncle. Sounds fine to me. Have you ever heard him talk? Like, it's fine. Like, it's fine. He, he, he's just, he's well studied in the old English. He talks in cursive, yeah. 
sort of guilty of betraying the Scions in the past, so you can hold that over his head. So He's not guilty of betraying. He did what he had to do. Resignation as you go absolutely feral in the distance makes your heart go. He's also a healer now, so he can even adjust just for you. Considering he's an astrologer, he can <laughs> sure probably he just predict what the rage. AOEs will be at any given time. Meaning that being with this guy will increase your DPS. And that is all you care about. Don't troll him too hard. I'm pretty sure he has a weak heart compared to your Energizer Bunny edition. Summoner, I'm about to give you everything you want. Why not? Uh -huh. That's what the devs are doing, so I guess I'll just Bahamut? do the same. Is it Bahamut? Some of that good karma will rub off on me. Your waifu is Alize. In two oh, years, my you. Fuck? Because Alize is already obsessed with the Warrior of Light, you have an easy road into a relationship, and she'll be happy she can talk about magic with you, seeing as you are the superior caster. Plus, it'll make Alpha know your little brother, which means bullying him will feel all the sweeter. It's gonna be a weird moment when she's fully grown and towers over you like a giraffe. If you know it's good for you, you won't tell her she's not attractive to you anymore. All good things must end. And I... Why did they get Alizé? I don't know if I agree with this. She should be... She, just because she's super attracted to you right now, it's like a lustful obsession, okay? Like, she's gonna... She's probably gonna break up with you because she probably thinks she's better than you once she's, like, two years older. Yeah, it's... it's 16 feels weird. I mean, she said two years old... It's two years older, but, like... Like, when she's two years older, she's actually full height and everything like that. And, like, fair game, whatever the hell, like, like she wants to propose here. She's gonna think she's superior to you. And you're fucking a little pathetic, like, maggot to her. I mean, maybe that's the type of relationship you want to have, though. I hope you pay for the favoritism you received in the job trailer, you vermin! Your husbando is... man. You're stacked. Your husbando is Graha Tia. Reason what?! Being, Graha is an all-rounder, and with the way the primals work, or at least the way they worked in the past, you yourself can be a DPS or a tank. Your healing potential with Physic, uh, needs some work. That's why he's going to be healing you, because all non-sage healers are bottoms, and Graha Tia is the Webster Miriam definition of a bottom. Like Alice. He is the biggest bottom in the story. It's true. Graha's not trash. Graha's not trash. But he is the biggest bottom. It's 100% true. Say, Graha Tia is absolutely in love with you, regardless of your gender. He wants nothing more than to follow you everywhere you go. Yeah. Your mega flare brings all the cat boys to the yard. I admit, even I might want you. Rather, I want to take <gasps> what you have and make it mine. Now that I think about it, your love interest has to worship you like a god or you'll be unhappy. Hey, did you threaten Yoshi P? Hold on. You know what? It, it makes more sense to me that... A summoner has a god complex. So you, no matter what... Like, the reason Alizé doesn't work to me is because she doesn't... She simps over you. But you need to have someone who grovels at your feet. Who is super submissive. Like, super bottom behavior. Like, I, I'm, I don't... I don't... I understand the Graha pick here, okay? Because you have a god complex. You need to be feel like you're worshipped. But Alize, she's feisty. She 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 maybe have a, be simping for you, but it's not the same way. So I you need a different simp on the on the female side, I think. Night Zeris. Or something? Never mind. Forget I asked. Carry on. Red Mage, you're so flashy and charismatic. You could get anyone you want, which is why I think you should throw caution to the wind and aim for the sky. Literally. So your waifu will be Heidelin. Right now in Endwalker, Wait, we're what? not sure who's the good or bad guy. We just know that she likes to give us cool superpowers when it's convenient for her. And for you, who lives between black and white magic, that's the perfect kind of morally gray area you're is looking for. Is it gonna for. be Heidelin? In Zodiac. You, and you're too much of a hothead to put up with that. Considering a literal god took interest in you in the first place, I think you should simply learn to live with her dipping in and out of your life. You could be the parent of a demigod, so please reconsider dumping her. Yeah, even if you're a girl, I'm pretty sure a god can just change depending on their mood, you know? Be careful you don't incur her divine wrath, although, considering the OP warrior of light hijinks, you'll probably be fine anyway. The natural follow up is that you're Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. 
one. Well, the okay, there we go. Zodiac is, well, evil? I'm telling you, he has grandpa vibes, not Uri we know nothing about Zodiac, though. I don't. So how? I don't. I don't. I don't get it. Like you, we literally know nothing about Zodiac. So I don't know how you could make the evaluation. We, we don't like. Like the only thing you could say is maybe like Elidibus's personality, but like I don't see how Elidibus's personality matches up necessarily as Zodiac. You don't know, right? Yeah, it was Zodiac. Grandpa vibes. Zodiac has more of a clueless old man vibe. He has no what? idea how to have a conversation in the first place, let alone sound. Oh, that's true. Jay that's true. He doesn't talk to us. Based off of your job, mentor, you He's are fucking dead, basically. To appreciate an older gentleman. He won't smite you because he knows you could defeat him. So even if he's book dumb, he's street smart. He knows no one gets away with picking a fight with the Warrior of Light. He constantly breaks the fourth wall with his level of omniscience. You ask him to tell you a story from his life but all he can recall is the utter annihilation of the people that worshipped him which is intense and i think the red mages will approve he's also the only one who fully appreciates your collar pop victory pose so jot that down all right tryhards it's finally your turn cobalt Looks we'll check in a second in front of me will you i'll put you in your place oh i can hear your arrogant comments already you just saved the best for last haha -ha. don't make me come to your house in the middle of the night kid i'll start with dark night because someone has to put them first you have clinically diagnosed major depressions so yep. you need someone who's gonna alleviate that you after you see this video there's no way you don't have depression as a dark night because you know that you're not getting anything good expansion so for the next two to three years you are fucking suffering your waifu was the one and only cat girls loia leopo she's i'm not a dark knight 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 stupid and head empty and her moldy pudding might poison you on occasion but man if she doesn't absolutely radiate sunshine you can accept any woman for her many many flaws as long as she loves you unconditionally and has a smile like diamonds she'll also expose you to all the orphans under her wing forcing you into a fatherhood role which is what you need in order to lighten up now i know what you're thinking she excuse does have me a ponytail but it's not a side ponytail so she what is wrong with a normal ponytail? Side ponytails suck. He's probably safe from any tragic death character arcs that you oh, okay, that's so fair. easily attract. A little bit that's different. Fair, that's fair. You have air involved as a husbando. It might seem like an odd choice. Guys, I think I might have a dilemma. I just realized something. When I get a model update with a new outfit, it may or may not have a side ponytail. Am I going to die within the next year? Uh, maybe I need to rethink my choices. Choice at first, but he's a pure guy, willing to sacrifice himself for the greater good. Like you at the end of the day, he's also hefty and strong. So if you get tired carrying your big sword on your daily strolls along the beach, he can help you out. He won't allow you to sit in your room and sulk all day. He will drag hey. you out on dates and social events. You tolerate this makes sense he does all the talking for the most for part. You. He's naturally charismatic, meaning he covers an aspect of your life that you struggle with. He has major death flags too, which... Look, he already, he already, you know, went through his death flag. He is a cripple now, unfortunately. Uh, he, he, he got put in his wheelchair, okay? Unfortunately, that happened. Um, so, I don't know what to say. Uh, he fought for you. He was, he would do anything for you. And you know what? Even after that happened to him, he was still in a super good mood enough to want to like encourage Elfino. spoilers i'm sorry guys but the video itself said spoilers i'm gonna talk about spoilers he got out in the sam wheelchair so he can come back as a melee dps instead of a tank oh my god why did you make a poll poll for side pony side ponytail versus normal ponytail? 
everyone knows the normal ponytails better at least because then you don't earn dying. Feeds into your emo nature. I just hope it doesn't actually happen. Because you deserve a chance at happiness with a big Farah boy. Next up is Gunbreaker, my personal main at the moment. My bias totally, absolutely, 100% does not feed into the choices here. They're just factually They're gonna correct. be Catboy. Your waifu is Ishtola. Oh my god. Has gotten the closest to winning her heart as a Hrothgar, and that the Gunbreaker class was created by the Hrothgar, you've got story backing by no first of all he is he is not the closest to dating her okay i'm sorry i don't think that she would date him i think she knows that he's way too possessive and overly simping i i've i've i think we've had this conversation they would have never ended up together if she knew she was staying on the first i don't think she would have would have stayed with him i don't think so I'm not losing my shit. Behind you. Plus, she's a black mage, so she needs someone to take the hard hits for. Her. Be honest, we're all simps here, and we would absolutely cherish her scathing, sarcastic remarks because she'd rather die than be nice to us. <laughs> she is attracted solely to chads, so we have to work hard to make her notice us. But all I actually don't think so. She has. Okay. If you listen to her dialogue, she has way more mommy vibes. I'm sorry. Ultimately, she's a safe. She doesn't she want a chad. Pleasure and how hard we try for just a crumb of her affection. Runar is she not a chad. So submissive and breedable. And you know what? She ain't wrong. Your husbando is Gaius. Once again, uh, that's uh, that's an obvious one. Being the obvious choice. And my Satan does this guy's chad appeal break the scales. Okay, this is this is Lucy just giving herself what she wants. Just look at the way he's holding. Yeah, guys, is obvious. You wish that were you, huh? I don't blame you. By standing next to him, you might be able to absorb some of his Sigma spirit. The chemistry you have is unmatched. And if Gaius is probably the biggest Chad. During the diamond weapon side quests, you're lying to yourself. This is a love-hate relationship, but who doesn't like a good enemies to lovers story? Side note, but this guy looks like he wears the most expensive cologne just to tempt some weirdos. <laughs> Okay, you know that, you, you know the Chad meme with, like, the, you know, the, the super chiseled guy, right? I mean, everyone knows who that is. I, I feel like Gaius would be easily replaceable to put with that guy. Like, you could take photos of Gaius without his shirt on, and he'd probably look just like that guy. It is, it is Final Fantasy XIV's Chad. To sniff. It's you. You're weirdo. Look at his. But I look at his. You and like you of your sin. It is five o'clock shadow. Warrior, you are loud and proud. Learning how to balance your chaos is essential. I'm going to give you Serena. First, she's super cute and an Alra, which you're apparently into. Whatever helps you get your inner release <laughs> off, dude. Even though she's calm, she's also a Zela at the head of a tribe in the Azim Steppe, so she knows how to go absolutely chaotic too. We stand a girl with duality. She can. All right. If you want the most wholesome, wholesome waifu, period, I feel like Serena is the most wholesome waifu in this whole entire game. There is, she is the most, like, traditional at-home mom. Like, she's going to do a great job with your kids and everything. So, I don't know if you want to pair probably the most abusive class out of any class with her. She doesn't deserve that. I'm sorry, but warriors are, like, gonna be the most abusive. You don't want to put her with that. She doesn't deserve that. Can probably cook like no one's business, which is good. She probably can. Satan knows you put down food like it's a dog with rabies. She can talk you down off the edge when you go a bit too far, which is often. And that means she basically has a full-time job stopping you from going on a murderous rampage. She makes sure... Okay, she is probably the one who will back you off the murderous rampage. I mean, warriors are the ones who do that, but let's not have her have to deal with deal with the after effects of the warriors, okay? Like warriors, they're crazy and violent and they just let the animal come out. Side ponytail one? What the fuck? 
make sure you compensate her properly with head pats. Careful though, <sighs> don't stab yourself on the horns. Now, your husbando, let's throw balance to the wind. I'm giving you Ardbert. Ardbert. Because what's better to fuel your inner beast than the literal voice inside your head that asks, <laughs> aren't you tired of being nice? Don't you just want to go ape shit? <laughs> I mean, it's not a shock, but like, I don't, it, it, does he really sit there and tell you, aren't, aren't you tired of being nice? Like, I guess he kind of does a few times. He's like, but he's more of like a downer. Like, I actually feel like a Dark Knight would be better paired with Ar Ardbert. Because like, you're both having to sit there and deal with all the shit that you're having to deal with. You're an emo kid and Ardbert is like kind of in his emo phase, like through Shadowbringers up until the end. Like, he picks you up right at the end, but for most of Shadowbringers, he's a pretty big downer. He's, like, talking about, like, how the, like, I mean, he's had a lot of shit happen to him, but at least, you know, as a Dark Knight, you, you have a lot of shit happen to you, too, and a lot of shit you have to deal with. So, and the poster boy for Shadowbringers is Dark Knight, so wouldn't a Dark Knight be best paired with Ardbert? Kind of seems like you both have some trauma there that you both want to work out, and then in the end of Shadowbringers, you both kind of work it out together, and now you're a paladin. Most iconic form, at least for me, is also a warrior, so you can both go oonga boonga in the corner together, away from the rest of polite society. Or, if you prefer him as a paladin, he can be your loyal little off-tank, because you guys put on tank stands so fast in trials it makes my head spin. Him being kinda sorta dead and living inside you is going to make you look like a lunatic when you talk to him, but you know what? I don't know why I say look like a lunatic when you self-identify as one, with pride even, so everything about this matchup is perfect. Paladin! Yes, I finally got to you. You're the flagship job of Endwalker, so I figured you could use a little humbling, but fear not, for I have given you two amazing choices. Maybe. One of them is controversial. Point is, you desire someone to protect, and you need the best waifu possible to fuel you, and that means you're Minfilia. getting Hilda. Machinists, oh, shit. Let me Wait, speak what? before you mull too hard in the comments. Hilda is a top-tier waifu. Every Hold on. I'm going to go with this and say why I don't disagree with you. Or why why she, why I have to disagree with her. Minfilia is the classic damsel in distress. And every paladin wants to be that white knight that rushes in to save the day and save the damsel in distress. I'm sorry, but Minfilia is the correct choice here. It is not Hilda. Hilda is a badass that doesn't deserve to be with the paladin. Everyone agrees on this. Everyone knows it. She's half Ellison, half Hira, which manages to make Ellison look good with far more natural proportions. She's useful and cool in the story, so of course you're down to simp, which is all paladins really want to do. She's got an attitude, though. She'll absolutely clown on you for bringing a sword to a gunfight. As she absolutely should, she will humble you down from the arrogance and Walker will instill in you and return you to the righteous path of the pure white knight. She's basically the Tifa of 14, so... That means you've won big. Hope you like CBT though. I'd she actually probably agree with that. Finally, she was basically Tifa. Deal, possibly against your will. We'll see now. <laughs> Listen, you don't really have a choice. You go for anyone else, he's gonna be right there. Look, maybe Paladin just want the dumpies, okay? Waiting for you. No matter where you are, he's watching you. Going to the first? That's fine. He'll use that time to return his soul to his corpse and haunt you all over again. You on the moon? He's using his riches to buy a telescope and use it one-handed while he spies on you. Taking a bath? Not alone, you aren't. He's obsessed with you. And that means he's the alternate dynamic. He is your enemy. Your eternal rival. The light can only be seen because the darkness surrounds it. And he is your dark side. He's also a huge simp for you, which is a confusion moment because you're used to being the sim it's nice to experience being on the other side of the desire now thinking about it i think actually summoners would have been best paired with xenos he thinks he's like this godly being and he is also simping for you at the same time and you think you're a godly being because you're summoning primals. You guys both can have a dick measuring contest in who's the more godly being. Is that not the best pair? And then you were like, so basically, Xenos' ego 
is is fighting with your summoner dong at the same time. I I I I feel like Horshafont would have been better for as like your paladin like husbando because even though like there's the you know the white mage situation going on back there, the paladins are probably like man I would have took a bullet for Horshafont like like I like. I, I would have stuck up for him. I would have stood out there for him. I would have saved him and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I don't know. Fire for once. This guy literally escaped death to fight you one more time. Just submit. Although, you don't have to. He seems like the type of guy who would make some bottoming exceptions just for you. You gotta admire his dedication. Even if you hate the writing that turns him into the cockroach of the storyline. Alright, and that's everyone. Blue mage memes, you're not real. Stop lying and saying you're real. What Fine. the fuck? If you want something, I'm giving you Moonbrita and Fan Daniel. And no, I will not elaborate. Remember what to the invite fuck? me to all of your weddings. Except the black mages, I don't want to be there for that dumpster fire for. And though it pains me to leave you with this cringe, this rap will keep you company along the way. Cringe culture is dead. Keep the kids well fed. Gonna get them all wet so they get this bread. Haters, it's cool. Go ahead. I leave your comments all on red. Here's a nuggy snack instead. Love you anyway, meanie head. Not sure about this you said. Look back, but I've already fled. Happy marriage. Tie the threads. Hope the wedding don't go red. As I make my way to bed, I feel my heart pound full of dread. A cat girl with her legs spread. Think I'd rather snort some lead. Oh, God. <gasps> All right. I I still think your videos are really good. Like I think they're pretty on point. Like there's a lot of times where I'm like I feel like the exact same thought process I have and then she calls it out and it's like what the fuck? I don't know how she's that good at reading it. The caster thing is probably the most amazing thing <laughs> out of that whole entire video. She's hidden inside the chat closet, watching a surfer and feeding on Kai's despair. I I do feel called out. <laughs> it's fair. She's lurking in chat or something. <laughs> Maybe. Kai is cringe curious. I'm not cringe curious. I, I'm I'm like a living embodiment of cringe. I'm a male cat girl. What do you want me to say? <laughs> I don't think there's anything else I can say about it. <laughs> 